Welcome! E aí, galera, beleza? Bem-vindo à nossa comunidade. Welcome to our community. Hey, what's going on, guys? It is OJC here. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be doing the tactics schools, uh, stages 1 through 15. Uh, so this is going to be the formation that I, I use uh, for just the normal fights. Um, I'll go through it all and then what I will do is I will uh, pull it up after the fight. That way you can actually see it. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to go through. I will do all of them with, with you guys. That way if you guys are struggling, uh, hopefully this helps you out. Right now for perspective as far as the account, we are castle level 19. Um, our research for being castle level 19 is uh, maxed out for swords and archers. Uh, we're currently building uh, a new academy, so we don't have that new stuff yet. Uh, but yeah, we're, 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 we're doing okay. For the basic formation I'm running with this, uh, we are going to go through the normal stages looking like this. We have four packs of silver swords. We have three packs of gold archers, three packs of silver archers. On the bottom side, we, we have Elena, which we're lucky enough to get out of a uh, hero chest. With uh, Rufio, it's kind of slow things down up here. Uh, we also have Belrog and Virians tucked in the back, so hopefully we can do Crusader Resurrection as needed. In the middle, we have Avalon to boost up uh, our three gold archers with uh, Mako. Uh, on the top side, uh, since this side only has um, one pack of gold archers in this whole side, I threw Bazrix and Jax up there. That's going to put out too much damage. I might actually have to bring Jax down to the bottom side. We'll see how it goes. We also have Vega and Grimms for more ammo for Jax. So uh, we're just going to go through all these. I have a feeling it's not going to be uh, until the end of everything that this is going to get challenging. So 4-1, uh, uh, pretty easy. Um, I highly recommend if you don't have Bazrix to uh, make sure that you get Bazrix. Um, Bazrix is just going to make your, your, your life uh, so much easier across the board. Uh, like We're just able to just absolutely blast through this uh, top portion here. And uh, this one will be pretty easy too. So this is 4-2. Uh, uh, we use the same formation, super, super easy. I can probably use a lot less heroes for these stages, but I kind of just want to make it as far as I can in uh, like one straight go with you guys uh, as far as the video. Now, part of the, the reason why uh, finishing the tactics schools is so important and getting f completed until 4.15 is so crucial is uh, simply because, um, oh, we can go kind of deep on that. It is, it's because uh, we unlock the hero research at that point in time. Once we complete the uh, tactics school, we can start doing our hero research and just getting more and more powerful. This is 4-3, by the way. So as soon as possible, which is cast level 19, you should work and do your absolute best. If you need to train new troops just to get through the tactics school, do it. Uh, this is just one of those things you gotta do, and you gotta do it as soon as possible. Uh, preferably, take your time with it in the sense of don't waste hero energy, but I'm just trying to get through this to, to show you guys. I, I don't mind wasting some of that energy. So this should be 4-4. Uh, there's 15 levels in total. The siege ones are kind of the uh, tougher ones, so we'll, um, we'll, we'll slow down for, for those because I have a feeling I can't just uh, complete them uh, nearly as easy, easily as what I'm doing right now. So that should be 4-4 that we just uh, completed. Uh, you'll also get some good rewards as you go through all of this, uh, such as um, stat cards, you're going to get some uh, resources, you might even get some items. So now we're going on to 4-5 uh, and also skill cards. Those are actually super important. So this is 4-5, we're gonna jump in real quick and see how we do. Again, if you missed the uh, formation that I am using, you, you can find that uh, at the beginning of the, the, the video. Just a very standard formation that I'm, I'm gonna end up using uh, throughout all of just the normal uh, battles that we do. The siege ones will look a little bit different because the siege part, you need to be able to get to the wall and you also actually need the siege uh, equipment, so your catapults if you're human, um, wh whatever it looks like, uh, the ballistas if you're uh, rocking for, for some reason, you will need those in order to get enough wall damage. So things will uh, definitely change uh, majorly as far as for formations for once you get to the wall portion of all of this. But for right now, the normal, um, you know, almost like a PvP or the, the normal setups, 
Uh, super easy. We, we can just fly it right, right on through. Bazrix is huge. Bazrix is huge. He is definitely the, the first one that, that you want to get as far as heroes. He, he's seriously going to make your entire early game easier. Uh, he's usable early, mid, and late game. There's not a time when you don't want Bazrix. <laughs> All right, so this age, um, we're just going to continue doing what we're doing. This one looks uh, super easy as well. We're not really having too much, many issues with uh, any of our swordsmen not being able to tank. Uh, so we are going with silver swords. Uh, since I was at this point in time last, um, since I was here last, and by the way, we're on 4-8 now. Since I was here last, uh, Silver Swords used to suffer from moral collapse, believe it or not. Uh, so we couldn't really do... Oh, this is uh, this is one, one of the siege ones. All right, we need, to, uh, we need to leave and retry this. So the last time that I did... Um, oh, jeez, that, that, that's definitely the, the, the wrong one. The, the last time that I used uh, sil Silver Swords... Uh, they would suffer from moral failure, uh, which means that they would just run away. And uh, it's nice to see that now they don't do that. So that definitely helps us out drastically. So um, this is going to be the first time going up against a, uh, a stronghold as far as these uh, the stage four in the tactic school goes. So for this bottom badgers, we want to hit as many of the miners as possible, but we also want to take out those mechs. Now that everything is boosted up, we definitely want to get Mako boosted up as well. And we're going to go for a favor of the Sun God. We have to keep our Vega up. Um, our Vega is just too important to uh, not do that, that that healing towards the beginning. We're also, oh, we, we, uh, we lost our Varian and we misclicked on the extra ammo for our Jax. So we are going to definitely have some major issues because I wanted to do the Crusader Resurrection. But it looks like we're able to uh, blast through this uh, front line decently and now we can start doing some damage to the wall. I also need to go redo the uh, setup for, for Grimms. So luckily we can uh, speed this up a little bit. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll actually be able to take down the, the, the wall. It looks like we will be able to even though we have some major issues. Again, we're cast level 19. Uh, realistically, the only thing that we have that's special is our Bazrix. So let's go Bazrix. Um, if we look at the damage dealt, yeah, our Bazrix is, is uh, very, very high. All right, so we're going to go collect that. That was 4-8, so that was one of the, the first uh, tough ones. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find my, my Grims, and I'm actually going to swap his abilities uh, over so that we have max out Siege Mastery. Uh, because that's going to matter uh, later on uh, as we progress through this and we get to more sages with the castle in it. We got to take down those walls. All right, so we're going to go back to our, uh, I guess, open world for formation. Um, this is the one that I showed at the beginning. The next time that we, we do a wall, I'll show you uh, that, that formation. I wasn't sure that it was actually going to work for, from the, the, the previous one, so I'm glad that it did. <laughs> we we kind of got lucky on 4-8. This was 4-9. Now we're going to go into, I believe it's 4-10 uh, should be the next one. All right, here we go. This is 4-10. Uh, this one uh, looks a little bit more challenging. There's definitely some more gold troops out there. A couple packs of mechs. Uh, the snipers can be annoying, and blasters will eat through the swords. Um, so we're going to start off with the Bowser's Bass Bliss. We want to take out as much of the back line as possible. We'll do a quick little uh, favor of the Sun God to heal up as much as we can. We basically took down that whole top section. Now we want to uh, collapse the middle with the other Bowser's, jump in with Rufio, slow down the bottom, and then we just finish it off. Silver Swords doing fantastic at tanking. Um, so far, I'm really, really impressed. Part of me is afraid that in the future I'm going to have to uh, drop the, the gold archers to get more silver swords. Uh, that's definitely one, one of my fears to complete this at uh, cast level 19. I've seen a lot of people do it in like the early 20s, but I really, really want to get this done um, as soon as possible just so that I can get um, our hero mastery stuff going uh, or hero research going as soon as possible. All right, we're doing good. We are, uh, we're like 10 minutes in and we are 10 stages in. So we're going to uh, try to keep this up. Uh, now we're going on to, or 11. So now we're going on to 4-12. This is, uh, 
This one has a pack of level 12 uh, gold max. So um, I believe for this, we're going to drop one bat splits up top up here. And then we're going to drop the other one on those max because those max are definitely going to be a little bit hard to, to take down. I also think since there's snipers, we're going to skip um, the healing and we're just going to go uh, straight into our jacks and yeah, we, we, we got this. All right, so 4-12, uh, not that bad. Bazrix makes life so much easier. If you need any form of advertisement for Bazrix, this video should, should be it. Again, we're at cast level 19. All right, so here we go. We're going up against uh, a wall. It looks like on top of the wall, they have some snipers there. And uh, let's see here. Um, the sniper is definitely throwing me off, so we will uh, we'll try this one out real quick. This should be 4-13. Um, it's going to be pretty hard to get through everything, so we're definitely going to slow this one down a little bit. That way we have a little bit more control. Now, I want to hit some of those miners in this bottom portion and as many mechs as possible, because if I can get the moral collapse onto those miners, that, that would be huge. Uh, we did go right into Jax because I just want to get through as many things as possible. Uh, now we're doing the favor of the sun god that might be a little bit late and it looks like we we were collapsed on this uh, bottom side so now that they are taking down some of our siege stuff um so that means we need to go and remake our formation this happens all the time so let me go remake and then i will come back and we will get this one perfect hey guys so as you can tell i have clearly changed my clothes uh, i got home from work i thought i could do like stage four of tactic schools super fast so i didn't even change that's why i had like my fleece on so it took me a little while and some trial and error i eventually got it at castle level 19 um the problem is there's a lot of rng with it uh that's what i was running into so i didn't get the recording until about halfway through the fight but this is the setup that i went with um in the front we have four packs of gold swords i did have to remake and get the gold swords they are absolutely needed we have uh three packs of uh silver archers uh we have um our dragon virian and Jax over here Jax and virian shouldn't get targeted occasionally your Jax might get sniped down but realistically, it is pretty safe, and it's really safe for Varian, too. Towards this bottom side, we have uh, Mako, Grimms, uh, Bazrix, Avalon. Uh, we also have Vega, Rufio, and uh, um, Balrog. Could not think of his name for a second. So uh, I saw this on uh, the Facebook group. I need to find the dude's name that, that, that posted one. It was very similar to this uh, because I need to give him a, a bunch of credit. But uh, we, we found this there and uh, this ended up working for us. So this is the tail end of the fight. Just so you know for how we started off with these skills, we started off with the Bazrix bat splits on the miners directly in front of him and then we dropped the next bat, uh, Bazrix bat splits on the mechs. Uh, pretty much there's two packs of mechs, I just dropped it on, on both of them. From there, I went into spray and pray, heal, resurrection, uh, but let, let's go check it out. Uh, so we did blast right right through everything. Um, we missed mo most of the fight. Uh, there's just so much RNG with uh, all of the snipers that I kept recording, kept recording, filled up all of the uh, oh, like extra space on my phone, and then I, I had to start deleting stuff. Now this is what's kind of crazy. So although we had a good setup, check out the time in the the wall damage. So. Uh, all of a sudden it comes down we got like w one second and 20 wall health like we barely got this level 19 this is super hard to do uh it is possible if you have bazaar so we just kind of uh take a quick peek at everything here uh nothing too crazy we have our ruby dragon it's got the conflagulation and scales uh hero credit which really doesn't matter too much uh, 6.7 uh, thousand health stores 3000 attack silver archers uh, we have uh, level four siege um, nothing super crazy. When it comes to our Baz Bazrix, uh, he is set up uh, pretty well. Uh, Belrog, pre pretty basic. Mako, pr pretty basic as, as well. Um, pretty much just getting whatever I can out there. What's important for our uh, Grims is uh, you want to make sure that you have Siege Mastery on him for this because that's going to greatly increase the damage of your Siege units. Uh, in early on, I would not skip your workshops to, to level up. Um, I would bring them up even if it's for the sole purpose of completing this stage. Because again, you want to get the, through this as soon as possible. 
As far as the other heroes, everything is super basic. Avalon, of course, set up pretty well in uh, Rufio's there. So uh, we have uh, some of the damages coming out. Pre pretty good damage, pretty good tankiness. And as far as the formation, if you guys are curious for the formation or you want to try this for, for yourself, feel free to screenshot. This is a 4-13, the hard siege one in the tactics tools. So I took a screenshot just for uh, myself and um, yeah, we go collect those juicy rewards and we are going to go on to 4-14. Uh, so this is all kind of pre-recorded. Uh, my hands are free for once. So I was making sure that everything is recording uh, because I was downstairs in a comfortable chair uh, doing this part of everything. Now we go back to that formation that I was using for throughout like all of this uh, for anything that wasn't siege related. I showed it at the beginning and what we did was we pretty much threw in gold swords and we uh, replaced the blank spaces with the silver archers. Uh, none of these stages seemed challenging. The only hard one from stage four is the 4-13, that siege one. Uh, other than that, the, the rest of these were a complete cakewalk. Uh, so we just plowed right on through 4-14. Uh, and now we get to go after 4-15. Completing 4-15 opens up your hero research, which is so huge. Castle level 19 minimum required in order to do this. You need castle level 19 to get the tactics school, and then completing the tactics school, beating this stage right here, you get your hero research. Hero research is huge. If you've never experienced it before, it will help you out so much. You will get way, way, way higher gold cap. You're going to uh, make all of your heroes drastically stronger. Um, towards end game, the impact of your heroes and your research is significant. Like, I can't even begin to tell you how powerful uh, this stuff is and how much it matters. So I'm happy to get this done sooner rather than later. Um, but yeah, so that is the Tactics School Stage 4. Uh, hopefully you, you guys kind of in, in, enjoy this again for the 4-13. I'm sorry that I, uh, uh, I I wasn't able to record that, that whole portion of it. Um, but we, we at least have, have a decent enough uh, formation. Uh, we collect the final rewards in uh, the, the tactics school. You can see we're cast level 19 there. And beautiful spot to end with. This is, right here is my current hero research. I'm going to try and bring that up during the live stream. I'll show you what it's at in the future. But for now, I would appreciate it if you guys comment below. Let me know. Let me know what level you were when you completed the tactics school. Yeah, that, that should be interesting. Uh, with that, guys, please have a wonderful day. Uh, like, share, subscribe, as always. Uh, commenting helps out tremendously. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Take care.